So over here on the right hand side, you can see that I got a bunch of templates. And if you um, cannot see the templates, then you need to go around under Windows right here, under Dockable Dialogues, you can go around and access out templates. So now, uh, in order uh, to utilize templates, you can simply click on it. But one of the things that you can do is you can create out a new template as well. So to do that, you can see that there's this button right here. You simply need to click and this actually pops up right here. So now it says new template. So let's say this is going to be tutor tube template right here. And you can also go around and choose um, like an icon right here, just like this as you like. So I'm just going to go around over here on to let's say a tutor tube um, a folder right here. And you can see that I can actually go around and select out um, any icon right here just like this as well. So I'm just going to go around and click on open. And you can see that it has been loaded over here. So the icon is here. And now you can go around and change around the width and height. So let's say this is going to be a thousand by thousand pixel um, um, a document right here just like this. And you can go to advanced uh, settings as well. You can go around and change around the color space, the precision and everything change around the background color and so forth. So you can go around and change around whatever you like and press OK. And once you do that, you can see that YouTube preset is here. So you can go around and utilize this preset as any other presets that you have or templates that you have right here. So if I were to double click on this, it opens up new window and same goes for this. I can go around and you create a thousand by thousand um, a document just like that. And that is how you can create a custom template inside of GIMP and utilize it. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.